In this video, we're going to learn how to figure out the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence if you're given just two random terms of the sequence. It's kind of a long title, but the concept itself, not so long. Okay, cool. So let's say, for example, we have a sequence and we're given the third term. I'm going to write it in words because you may see it in words. So the third term of a sequence is 13 and the eighth term ooh, is 28. So I want to find U1, I want to find D, I also want to find the general term for good measure. All right. So let's just do it. So we have the equation, the general equation, un equals u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So that's just the general term formula. It's usually on a, any formula sheet or, or you usually learn it as soon as you start off arithmetic sequences. So that's just saying the nth term of a sequence is equal to the first term. So let's make sure you know this. The first term plus n is just the position of the term, d is the common difference, and un is the nth term, which is any term. Okay, so we do know the nth term in this case. We know actually two versions of the nth term. We know the third term is 13, and we know the eighth term is 28. So we can use this formula twice. So the first time around we have that the third term, so u3 is equal to u1, which we don't know, plus n. We do know n because we have u3, un is u3, so n is 3. So n, oh, which is 3, <laughs> I just said that 50 times. Um, so 3 minus 1 times d, which we don't know. We can simplify this further because we do know that the third term, u3, is 13. So instead of u3, I can actually write 13 equals u1 plus 2d. I just subtracted there. All right, so then you want to do the same thing for the other term, the term, the, twen the eighth term, which is 28. So we would write u8 equals u1 plus 8 minus 1d, which u8 we know is 28, so it's u1 plus 7d. All right, so now we actually have two equations and two unknowns. This should sound familiar to you. If you have two equations and two unknowns, you can solve them simultaneously. Let's turn the page to see how. Okay, so if we stack both equations one on top of the other, so let's say 28 equals u1 plus 7d, just rewriting here, and 13 equals u1 plus 2d, we can actually take this entire equation and subtract it from the equation above. We could subtract either equation from each other, but why would we do that? Well, we actually want to have only one variable, and by subtracting our equations, we are eliminating our u1. That will make our life a lot easier. Okay, so 28 minus 13 should give you 15 equals, and 7d minus 2d should give you 5d. Now we can just divide both sides by 5 and we get that d is equal to 3. So that's one of the things that we needed to find. We found our d value. So now we need to find our u1 value, our first term. And in order to do so, we can choose either equation, whichever one our heart fancies, this one or this one, it doesn't matter, and plug into that equation. So I choose this equation just because I prefer to work with smaller numbers. And I'm going to rewrite that equation over here. We have here 13 equals u1 plus 2d, 
So 13 is equal to, we don't know U1 yet, but we do know D is 3. We just got that over here. So since these three, we can plug that in there. And so we have 13 is equal to U1 plus 6. Taking 6 from both sides, we can isolate our U1, and we get that U1 is equal to 7. All right, so now we have two of the three things I asked for. We have our D value and we have our U1 value. Now it's time to just get the general term of the sequence. And the general term is just the formula for this particular sequence. So our general, general term is UN equals U1 plus N minus 1D. We've used it before. We used it earlier in this video. So now we're going to take that general general term and get something more specific for this sequence. So un is equal to, our first term is, we just got it, 7 plus n, since we don't know what it is, it's general, we just put n back, and d we got to be 3. So we can plug 3 in for d. Now... We're, again, we're just coming up with a formula for this sequence, so we can't simplify much, but we can simplify a little bit by distributing that 3, and we get un is equal to 7 plus 3n minus 3, and now we can put our like terms together, and we get that un is equal to 4 plus 3n. So now we've figured out what our general formula, our general term formula is for this particular sequence. And that's how you do it. So just a quick recap, because we did go through a lot here. The first thing that we did, we, we were given two random terms of a sequence. So we took our two random terms, which was the third term and the eighth term, and we plugged into our general term formula to get two equations. We took those two equations, stacked them on top of each other, subtracted them so we could get rid of our u1 variable, and we got that d was equal to 3. We plugged that d value into a chosen equation, didn't matter which one, and we got that u1 was 7, and then we figured out the general term from there. All right, I hope that helped.